an episode of a fairly popular cartoon taken down due to its plot turning extremely morbid, which included deaths of several of its characters. Ha! <laughs> Just creepypasta, you say? Well, you're only partially right. Welcome everybody to Postword, show in which I take a piece of narrative media and tell you what I have learned about writing from it. Today we'll take a look at a famously banned episode of Tiny Toons cartoon titled One Beer and the way it relates to creepypastas. The episode starts with the three of its underage characters finding a bottle of beer in a fridge. The one to first spot it, Buster, instantly decides that they should drink it. Hampton is against it while Plucky remains neutral. After only a bit of struggle, they consume the alcohol, which immediately turns them into wasted drunk. Later on, they steal a police car to race it through the city, then down the hill to their ultimate demise on a cemetery. You heard me right, they die. This quick random of the event might have seemed very familiar to those of you who have read some creepypastas in their lives. Lost episode subgenre. These, just like any kind of a creepypasta, are online horror stories which are founded upon the idea that the described events are real. In this case, that horrifying episodes of TV shows, either banned or never aired at all, actually existed. Most famous examples of this subgenre would be Squidward's Suicide and Death Bar, based off of SpongeBob SquarePants and The Simpsons respectively. Only from these we can describe two major tropes for all lost episodes. One, Episodes are contrasting shows to come with, being extremely dark and unsettling. Two, characters die, often in a realistic and gruesome manner. On the surface, one view fits all these characteristics. However, not exactly. And those are the differences that both made it possible for the episode to be made in the first place and could make your story that much more realistic and unsettling. Let's start with the second show, as the change here is the most obvious. Yes, characters indeed die at the end, but shortly after they go off stage and cave, hoping to make more fun episodes next time. Keep in mind, no same company would greenlight production of a gory episode of a kids show. It's not happening. Now, you could ask, well then, but apparently they did greenlight a morbid episode about alcohol abuse. Why? What's the difference? You got the right question. Why? What's the purpose of making it? Like everyone on the team, writers, animators and especially producers, had to realize how huge of a risk they were taking, and yet they went with it. They needed some agenda and they had an education. You see, in Squidward Suicide it's all dead children and gore, the gore and the dead children for the sake of it. In one beer from the very beginning, we know that it's all about education. Campton immediately points out, right at the beginning of the episode, that it's out of character for them to drink alcohol, to which Buster responds, I know, but on this episode we're showing the evils of alcohol. That's it, the social and moral downfall of tunes ending with very depths is all educated. It's not the entire point of the episode to spook and unsettle. Yes, it is truly unsettling, but it's not the entire point. So how does it translate to write a story? Well, you have to remember that the creators of your lost episode are people with agendas and they need very good reasons to risk losing their jobs or potentially even going to jail just to make an episode. With all that said, thanks for watching and tell me what you think about it. Do you believe that we could learn from real band cartoons how to write lost episode cook pastas or am I just crazy? Either way, if you liked the episode, give it a like, subscribe to my channel for the next episode with Postbox, thanks for watching.